The news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed Bahrain's commitment to the agreement signed with the GCC states and the joint environmental programs. On this occasion of the World Wildlife Day celebrated on December the 30th of every year, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah praised the great attention paid by the GCC countries to wildlife and their efforts in preserving wildlife and biological diversity in the region. His Highness stressed the importance of cooperation among the GCC countries to face environmental challenges and overcome regional obstacles that threaten wildlife and affect the prosperity of biodiversity. He pointed out to the kingdom's environmental achievements attributed to the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the support of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, through the environmental legal legislation and the ambitious national programs and plans. Sheikh Abdullah affirmed the commitment of the GCC to international agreements and conventions related to the protection of biological diversity and the continuation of efforts to develop natural environments that embrace living organisms and establish natural reserves in terrestrial, coastal and marine environments. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, affirmed continuing to work to open broader horizons of cooperation with the private sector in order to support various projects and strategic and development plans for the horse racing sector and in a way that contributes to strengthening the Kingdom of Bahrain's position on the global racing map. His Highness pointed out that the care and attention horse racing sector receives from His Majesty the King and the constant follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is a great motivation to continue towards achieving more sporting successes at all levels. His Highness praised the contributions of the Aluminum Bahrain company Alba in sponsoring the various races and tournaments organized by the club and supporting the implementation of the club's developmental projects. This came on the occasion of signing a sponsorship contract between the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club and Alba to develop and operate the club's main platform, which was held in the presence of the Deputy Chairman of the Higher Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa. Sheikh Faisal pointed that the main platform development project is considered one of the projects included in the development plans to upgrade the facilities of the club in accordance with the environmental and urban requirements so that it becomes the most prominent sports and entertainment destination in the Kingdom of Bahrain. He extended thanks and appreciation to Alba for its continuous support to the club to achieve its goals and enhance the progress of the horse racing sector. For his part, Alba chairman Sheikh Ajib bin Salman Al Khalifa affirmed the company's keenness on sponsoring the development projects, championships and international races organized by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. He said that the sponsorship comes as an extension to the support provided by Alba to various sectors in the kingdom, including the sports sector embodying the company's national role and its contribution to the development process in Bahrain, and emphasizing that sponsoring various sporting events reflects positively on the development of the sports sector and contributes to achieving more successes for the kingdom. The sponsorship contract was signed by Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, Executive Director of the Organizational Affairs at Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, and Ali Al Baghali, the CEO of Alba, in the presence of Yusuf Bahuji, the Executive Director of Operations at Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, and several officials from both sides. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed bin Salman Lam Salam, commended the cooperation and consensus between the government and the parliament, reflected in the constructive discussions between the government and the parliamentary committee, in charge of studying the government plan, which will contribute to enhancing gains for citizens, raising the living standards of Bahraini families, and achieving the aspired goals. Lam Salam indicated that the government plan 2023-26 is a political document prepared by the government during the period specified by Article 46 of the Constitution, and includes the outlines of the government's visions, strategies, priorities and general policies inspired by His Majesty's speech during the opening of the first session of the sixth legislative term. He praised the keenness of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on supporting cooperation between the executive and legislative branches and the constant efforts and follow-up to continue developing programs, performance and services in all fields, sectors and across all institutions to achieve more in the development march for the benefit of the country and its citizens. Al Musallam expressed parliamentary satisfaction with the government's response to the proposals presented by the committee and the members of the parliament and the common consensus, national responsibility and positive engagement witnessed in the joint meetings. He added that the committee's meetings with government representatives will continue next week after reviewing the comments and questions submitted by the committee to discuss and exhibit the government's responses. He affirmed that constructive cooperation, sincere desire and the one-team spirit which prevail in the meetings of parliamentary committee with representatives of the government will achieve the desired consensus within the framework of the constitutional rules and regulations. 
The Parliamentary Committee concerned with studying the government plan held its second meeting with the government team, where the Speaker of the Representative Council, Ahmed Lamsalam, headed the parliamentary side, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed the government side. The Speaker hailed the government team's swift response and the cooperation of the parliamentary side on all the submitted suggestions and visions regarding the government plan 2023 26. He added that the two sides' goal form from the government plan is positive consensus and constructive cooperation for the interest of citizens. For his part, the Minister of Finance affirmed the importance of cooperation and positive coordination between the executive and legislative authorities. He stated that the government plan endeavors to transition from the stage of economic recovery to sustainable growth through security, stability, justice, economic recovery and sustainable development, and quality and competitive government services. The minister noted that the government seeks to implement a number of developmental plans and initiatives that will leave a positive impact on citizens, adding that the government is implementing programs aimed at improving the kingdom's economic Economic situation to enhance citizens' living conditions. Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa asserted that these meetings reflect the common desire of the two authorities to adopt and implement the government plan for the next four years and to work as a one team to achieve the common goals. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, held a press conference to shed light on the latest developments regarding Bahrain's economic situation, with the participation of a number of ministers and Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industries chairman and members. The minister affirmed that 21 out of the 27 programs within the Economic Recovery Plan have been completed in a short period, which is a result of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as the efforts of Team Bahrain. He noted that the Bahrain continues to record high qualitative and positive indi indicators in the sectors targeted by the economic recovery plan. He added that Bahrain attracted investments reaching 1.1 billion U.S. dollars during 2022 until today. The minister noted that as a result of the initiatives and procedures taken through the priorities of the economic recovery plan, the kingdom recorded a surplus in the general budget in the first half of this year, highlighting the growth of the hotel and restaurant sector and the transportation and telecommunication sectors, as well as real estate activities. He also noted that the contribution of non-oil sectors reached 82 percent. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Ahmedan, discussed the developments on creating promising job opportunities to make citizens the first choice in the labor market. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, affirmed that the ministry is keen on supporting the priorities and programs of the Economic Recovery Plan, which had its role in the stability of the inflation rate in the kingdom in comparison with other world countries. Today, the 33rd edition of the Autumn Fair concludes, whose activities were held for the first time at the Bahrain International Exhibition Center in Sakhir. The exhibition World Bahrain, since its opening on the 22nd of this month, witnessed a great turnout by citizens, residents and visitors of the kingdom as it has become one of the largest exhibitions specialized in selling consumer products. This year, it succeeded in attracting 650 exhibitors from 16 countries, in addition to what it offers of a seasonal shopping experience that allows shoppers to get the best offers from different countries at competitive prices. The momentum witnessed by the exhibition in terms of the large number of exhibitors and the heavy turnout of visitors and shoppers is an indication of the remarkable recovery of the exhibition industry in the Kingdom of Bahrain at an accelerated pace. The National Afforestation Campaign is moving ahead with its desired goal of doubling the number of trees planted in the kingdom from 1.8 million to 3.6 million by 2035. This year, the plan succeeded in exceeding its target as it managed to plant 150,000 trees with an additional 10,000. The Kingdom of Bahrain adopts various national initiatives aimed at supporting the sustainability of natural resources and environmental balance in order to achieve the goals of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King. One of these ambitious initiatives is the National Afforestation station campaign, which succeeded this year in exceeding its target as it managed to plant 150,000 trees, an increase of 107 percent. The projects are being implemented in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning and the Supreme Council for the Environment. This success reflects the interest and keenness of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to support initiatives aimed at developing the agricultural sector, which is facing the challenges posed by climate change at local and international levels. The Forever Green campaign in Bahrain is moving forward to double the number of trees by 2035 and increase the number of mangroves fourfolds. The plan also includes a number of initiatives to increase green areas in the kingdom. The
The cultivation of trees suitable for the climate and environment of Bahrain, including palm trees, which are part of the agriculture identity rooted in the history of the kingdom, also contributes to strengthening the ecosystem through the vital role it plays in improving air quality directly and reducing dust and sandstorms, as well as reducing summer temperatures in neighborhoods and preserving the biodiversity of the local plant life.